what's going on it's, uh, Chris with the Patriot RC back with you again on this is uh, my Axial um, Jeep JLU and I've got the uh, the chassis kit from Muse I'm probably watching that name so anyway um, the build uh, 10 minutes maybe and then swapping everything over to this chassis, uh, maybe another 10 minutes. You're looking at $20 here. It comes with the decals and everything. Mine's a little sloppy because I'm not sure what I'm doing with my ESC batteries here. Um, let's go over what we got here. So uh, everything you see in my videos is all Amazon. This is at Amazon, I think $20. And it, like, again, it went together beautifully there's just a perfect amount of room to get the ESC in. Uh, the other chassis I had was, um, I think it was Endura. There's a couple other different brands that have it. It's very similar to this, but the front point up here is flat as to where this comes out to a nice point. And then it had a double side here. Um, I got it. The ESC would not fit in when I measured it. The interior of the, where the body would go was... I think it was 27 millimeters or no it was around 30 millimeters but this was one and a half millimeters too wide the ESC is to actually fit uh, and this actually back hatch pops up uh, but yeah I would have to decase this and it's not a huge deal but I didn't want to decase it and even if I decased it and as you can see here if I can get a little closer the power switch I actually had to get some needle nose pliers and pry this side out to get the power switch to drop in to get it to sit where it's at. So if I want to mount, they suggest that the ESC mounts underneath the roof up here. And there is room, but I have to take it apart to get it up there. Um, so you take it apart, attach this, and then do the rest of the build. Uh, but it's a pain in the ass to get the battery cable in, to plug your battery in and out. Where it's at now, I need no tools or anything. You just plug the battery in, slide the battery in, and close the top, and it holds it. So, um, again, I'm, I'm not final with this part of the build yet because I, I don't care for this sticking out. But if it's up in here, it sticks out the side. So, you, you know, you have to access the battery. So, or, you know, the battery and the power switch. So if it's upside down, this would be facing out the front window or it's out the back over here and when you close it that gets hit if you turn it the other way it's even harder to get to the battery switch and then you got your uh, servo pointing out one of the sides so I'm content where it's at for now we're just gonna let it roll this thing does great it definitely lowered the center of gravity um, enjoy it it's a very light build uh, I've got Eco, the Emacs servo, Endura wheels. There's the steel stamps. I like those a lot. I got four millimeter extensions. Uh, I've had some problem with them. Uh, I got the, they're not knockoffs. They're uh, Endura brand. Um, I was going to get black, but these arrived four days sooner. So I got those. Uh, but the threads went in on three for a while. Or well, went in on all four. Uh, and then when I finally went to these tires, which are the, the rock terrain, which are phenomenal on my course, really enjoyed these so far, Endura tires, Endura rims, Endura shocks. Um, but yeah, so anyway, uh, the threads went out on the brass, so I went back to the stock nuts on the front without extensions, and this took a tumble, and I snapped the end off. So, waiting for parts to come in tomorrow for that. There's a random O-ring. Um, so yeah, these little brass extenders, they're nice. You don't need a whole lot more here. At least on my course, you get too wide. Uh, you can't go across certain areas I've got. But with the extenders on, this is the FCX24. Let's see if I get those made it up. Absolutely identical. And there's no spacers on the FCX. That is just bone stock. So I don't need a whole lot of width. I got lead weight in the back. I got a nice 20 gram hunk of uh, lead on the top of the servo. 
We've got no clearance issues. Nothing hits. So uh, the Endura oil filled shocks. Really enjoying these. They uh, they work great. I've got uh, no issues. So uh, very satisfied with this one. I like the Jeep, but the, with the new course build, the top of the Jeep was a little too tall, and I've been wanting to fart around with the, you know different chassis builds. And I really like this one. Um, I like the other one, minus the fact the parts wouldn't fit. So, uh, so it went back and we got this one. So yeah, I might do different shocks just so it's full droop. But, I mean, I don't know. I like it. So we're going to keep it like it is. And uh, I'd give you guys a run video on this one. I might do one tomorrow once I get my new axles in. So we'll do that. I was debating on going with the four mil, the plus four axles, but um, I, mean, I kept getting bad reviews on them where the threads were messed up from factory, and I don't want to do all that, go through all that. But yeah, so the this is great. It uh, it did better on my course than the actual with the Jeep body on it. So I get I did the uh, my shocks in the front are much softer. I got stiffer shocks in the back and uh really really enjoyed this so far i get the the oil filled shocks i haven't had a problem with them leak yet and these have been on for three weeks damn near close to a month so but yeah if you guys have any questions on this build let me know um this is the the v2 esc really really phenomenal compared to the 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 first generation ESC. I know a lot of people like the first gen because you can plug the Fury Tex into it. Um, but man, the slow crawl on this is pretty damn good. I, I've been really impressed. Uh, the servo also is the Enjora Emac servo. So I bought a pack of them from Enjura. They come marked as Emax. So, but no problems with them yet. I uh, got the servo horns with it also came with it so and then also uh the chassis mounts or the the servo mount to the axle uh, it came with two of those two horns and two servos and plus the needed hardware to do it i did have to nip the sides on uh, my other servos at a 45 on my gladiator because they were hitting the frame didn't have that problem with this one on the the jlu so yeah. Well, anyway, while well, we'll get off here, try and keep this one short. And, um, oh, I do have upgraded links as well. And then the motor is the 050 Endura Purple. So, and then I might do uh, the gear upgrade in the transmission as well and go with metal gears. But, yeah, that's it. If you guys have any suggestions, questions, Hit me up, let me know. Thanks.